In fact, earlier requests made by Indian authorities to Switzerland regarding the Hassan Ali case have been rejected not once but twice, once in 2007 and then in 2010, as tax evasion is not a crime under Swiss law. However, now that uh, Ali Hassan Ali has been arrested under the PMLA, there is a possibility of it becoming a criminal case and the Swiss say that they do provide assistance for criminal cases. India can complete the request procedure whenever it wants, but only if it has a strong case, warns Swiss justice authorities. But they have confirmed that the necessary legal basis for cooperation between India and Switzerland does exist. In January 2007, the Swiss received a request from India to freeze Hassan Ali's bank accounts and to hand over the relevant banking documents. More documents were submitted in 2010, but none fulfilled Switzerland's requirements. Swiss authorities say in order to examine and possibly to accept and execute the request for more information on Hassan Ali's accounts, they will need a confirmation that the Indian investigation is a criminal one, that it's not tax-related, a better description of the charges in the money laundering investigation and a clear relation between the charges and the accounts in Switzerland. So far, say the Swiss, Indian authorities have not submitted the necessary details. In a nutshell, Indian authorities will now have to come up with concrete proof if they want to show that they do have a strong criminal case or a tax fraud case against Hassan Ali. If they do manage, Swiss authorities will cooperate. But it's a question of time now, and time has been running out for them since 2007. In Paris, Nupur Tiwari for NDTV. on ndtv.com slash world cup and on mobile at m.ndtv.com